Welcome back, everybody. Just wanted to kind of walk you through some of the free services that are available from your various cloud providers. Now, again, everything that we are doing in class, you should be using our coupons, the credits from the coupons, because they are going to be tied to that account. Never put your credit card information in until you are done and ready to be using this in the real world. Um, everything you're doing in class here with me is 100% free. You should never have to pay for any of it. If you do get to that point, contact me first because we can generally figure something out. And if we have to figure something out, either you screwed something up with the coupon or you accidentally ran out of credits, in which case I can get you more. It's not a big deal. So what I basically wanted to kind of cover today, though, is that you can actually use a lot of these cloud products for free up to a certain point. And you may notice, you know, as you go, that your accounts aren't being charged anything until you do start getting charged. Basically, for a lot of the products that are out there, there is a free tier where basically anybody can use it, you know, get that nice free taste. And then once you start getting real production level, requests, production level calls, basically you're getting a lot of ingress and egress in terms of, say, your network, maybe you're storing a lot of files, maybe you're doing a lot of things, then the charges start to creep in. But what we're going to look at here are the, oops, that's better. <laughs> what we're going to look at here are basically the three, the big three in terms of the cloud. I'm not going to talk about DigitalOcean or any of the other ones that are out there. I'll let you look at that on your own time as a homework assignment or something. But if you wanted to run stuff on Google, for instance, or AWS or Azure, you can for a limited time or in a particular specification range. So if you did the virtual machine lab already where you set up a web server, you were hopefully noticing that you're creating a very specific type of a machine, right? It is very low power. It's only 30 gigs of space. It is on a particular server in a particular region. And, you know, maybe you noticed that you have a particular amount of traffic that can go in and out of your server or ingress and egress. Basically, you are fitting into that free tier for Google, meaning you can just leave this virtual machine on and host a website off of it or do some very low intensity applications. Again, I think it's only got two or four gigs of RAM, so it's not, not a great server by any means. But it is out there in the public, and you can use it, right? So I've got some links that will pop in the description below and also on the blog, but there's cloud.google.com slash free. There's aws.amazon.com slash free and azure.microsoft.com and sus slash free. Basically, just search for your provider name and free tier, and you'll probably find what, I'm, what you're looking for here. But in terms of Google, so I guess the first thing we should talk about here, too, is this free credit. Do not redeem this free credit until you are done with your coupon. Um, if you do go to redeem the credit, for one, it's a one-time thing, um, and you have to put in your credit card to get it. So do not do that until, again, you're done with this class. But you can look at this list of free products here. Um, and you say things like Cloud Run, which we'll be doing when we work with Docker images and containerization. Um, cloud Functions, again, serverless functions are something we'll be doing. You basically have a set number of invocations you can make until you start getting charged. Uh, the one that I want to start talking about here is this Compute Engine. One F1 micro instance per month. Um, here are the specific regions it can be in. So we used US East 1. Uh, 30 gigs of hard drive space. You can have a snapshot in there of 5 gigs per month. 1 gig of network egress from North America to all other regions except China and Australia per month. So basically, as long as your virtual machine falls within these specs, it is free to you. Now it's going to say, I think it's like 4 or 5 bucks a month if you spec it out. Basically, you're getting a uh, a rebate to your account if you fall in these specs. You know, and here the same thing with cloud functions. Two million invocations per month. And then after that point, you get charged. PubSub, 10 gigs of method messages per month. So if you're doing an IoT application, you're sending telemetry back and forth between devices to the server 
you know, you're doing the whole pub sub thing. As long as you're under 10 gigs of message data, it's free. Once you go above 10 gigs, they start charging you for it. So it's kind of worth checking out the free tier pages to see what is available to you. Right, maybe you want to prove out a technique. You know, let's let's make the assumption that you are not in this class anymore. Okay, you have graduated, you've moved on, you're doing a home project, a hobby project, or maybe you're doing a proof of concept at work. Okay, and you're trying to make the case that moving a product to the cloud is going to be very helpful for your project team. Or if it's a personal hobby, you know, you could use it for that too. Let's say that you're going to run an app engine application. Maybe it's a static website. Maybe it is some kind of a web app that you're going to be interacting with. Just kind of depends. As long as you have your app within these particular parameters, right? One gig of egress per day, um, X hours per day based on your instance type, it will be free. So you can go ahead and prove out what you're working on. And then once you're ready to go to production level or go to prime time, you know, then you will start paying for it. And again, this is kind of why I mentioned, make sure that you have this tied to your free cloud credit for the class because you don't want to start having these free tier products run up against your actual real world account. So definitely we're checking this out and these will change periodically as well based on what Google is doing, what they're adding, taking out, updating, so on and so forth. So be aware of this page. It is very, very useful. Uh, this class is not strictly about Google, even though everything pretty much is Google demos, but it is worth talking about AWS and Azure as well. So you can get similar products through AWS. So if you want to create an EC2 instance, which is basically your Google Cloud virtual machine, um, here you get 750 hours per month of a particular instance size, um, amount of storage, Lambda functions, which are their serverless, 1 million free requests per month. SageMaker we'll probably touch on when we get to machine learning way later on. But again, they have very similar competing products. Same with Azure. So 5,000 transactions with text analytics, um, 250 gigs of free SQL database space on a particular server. Again, very, very similar t concepts in terms of what is free out there for you but it will be tied to that particular ecosystem. And that's kind of another good point too. Let's say that you take this class and you get married to the idea of Google Cloud. It's the best thing in the world. You love it. You're going to use it for everything. Well, crap, you go to work for a company that does AWS. Um, and maybe you want to get up and running with AWS very quickly. So obviously it's one of the more popular ones these days, at least as of 2021. Play around with some of the free tiers get up and running with it, maybe prove out some products on there, and you know, you can very quickly get up to speed for free. Same with Azure or you know, going back to Google. Anyway, I will pop these links in the description. So again, feel free to check these out. And if you are wondering why you're not being charged in your cloud credits account that you've gotten for free, it's probably because you're still within that free tier. Honestly, a lot of the demos that we are running will be in that free tier. The only time you start seeing charges is when you kind of go above and beyond the basics. Anyway, hope that was helpful. I'll see you all next time.